My name is Emily Bopin. I'm 11 years old and I play the defender and midfield positions for San and Surf. Everything that we do is about the experience of the players in the sport. We find if that experience is great, that means it builds a love for the game and the kids enjoy it to where they start to set goals to get better and take it more serious as the years go on. I've been playing soccer for a long time. I love a lot about playing. I love the challenging aspect of it, the togetherness aspect of it, like hanging out with my teammates and my friends. Each game you have to try your hardest and work your butt off, as Coach Sam would say. We need two players, two players, three players. Start when you're ready, off you go. So I am Coach Sam. I've been a coach for three years. She's an absolute joy to coach. You give her an instruction, she goes and does it. We'll finish, Emily. You ask her to help someone out, she goes and does it. You can always rely on her. I guess I could say I'm very reliable. I'm one of those players in the back who's like the support. I don't really go up and attack a lot. I'm mainly there as a kind of base for my team. I'm directing them, telling them where to go. Here, here, Talia! She moved up from a, a B team to an A team and you wouldn't even know she was moved up. You know, if you were just an outsider looking in. Yeah, well done, well done. Technically, she's always getting better. The thing where she's probably grown the most is leadership. Ready, set, go! I think my leadership skills have improved quite a lot since I first joined the team. I try and keep them together by communicating. Here's Talia! Right now as a team, we're very together. We've been with each other for four years now, and it's really helping because if we trust each other more, then we can play better in games. Emily, she's a great friend and teammate. She's great at communicating on the field, and she's just a fun person to be around. Emily is caring. Uh, sometimes at practice, when I don't really get a drill, she'll basically take her time to help me understand it. And even if I don't get on the first try, she'll still be there helping me. A big moment when I think about Emily is not long after she joined the teams, we were doing a scrimmage in practice and it was going to be the girls were going to practice against the boys 2010 team. And I put Emily in charge of the girls and I've said, you pick the team, you tell everyone what position they're in. So we started the game and I looked to my left and I noticed Emily was a sub. So I asked her like, why, why did you make yourself a sub? And her response was like a 30 year old. She basically said that it's good to like put others before yourself. Start from zero again on both fields, ready, go! go. I think sport, not just soccer in general, is good for kids dealing with adversity. I hope that they learn that they can always do something as long as they put their mind to it. It's important to have a balance between sports and your school because you have to be good at both in order to get into a really good school. Come on, quick, 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 quick! I really want to go to Harvard. It's a very good school. It has a pretty good sports program and I think it can make me a more successful person in soccer and in whatever I choose to do later on. With Angel City coming to town, you know, one, it's going to get the kids motivated and energized about the game even more, but then also, you know, the kids that are serious and watching those players play, you know, it's going to give them something to look up to and, and feel good about. Emily, one of the Angel City founding investors has heard all about you and wanted to send you a message. Okay. okay. Yeah. Emily, take two, marker. Hey, Emily. My name is Sophia Bush, and on behalf of the entire Angel City FC, I want to congratulate you on being our next rising star. We have heard so many amazing things about you, your leadership skills, your field skills, and the way that you treat your teammates, the way that you encourage communication, and the way that you show up and inspire everyone else to do the same. I can't wait to see what happens by the time you're going to college. We are all rooting for you to get into Harvard. And I can't wait to see you at an Angel City FC game soon. Much love. Was that nice? Was that good advice? Yeah. I think that women can be, if not are, better than men sometimes. So I think that Angel City definitely deserves a chance to show the whole world, I guess, that women deserve to be equal because they're really good.